So at IBC this year, what we have done is we've announced a new switcher, which is the ATEM 1ME production switcher 4K. So that takes over from our existing ATEM 1ME switcher. The great thing about that product is it has 10 6 gig SDI connections on it, which basically means that you're getting an additional two inputs, but also though all of the inputs are Ultra HD ready. The switcher also comes with a new form factor, so it is now half the size in height. It comes with a small LCD monitor, and it also has um, push buttons on the front so you can see your inputs. But there are also three auxiliary outputs on there too. So you can actually hard switch your auxiliary outputs from the front of the unit, which means that it doesn't require you actually having to have a software or having uh, an additional controller. We've also built into it the first Ultra HD DVE. So this DVE will do pan, till, rotate, zoom, all in Ultra HD 4K. So, so that's a, that's a, a huge um, development in that area. Um, we've also increased the size of the media player as well. So there is an Ultra HD 180 frame um, media player. Um, it will also do 700 frames of HD, 1600 frames of SD. Um, so it means you can store a lot more material in there for things like graphics or things like stings. We've also got products like the HyperX Studio Pro, which we announced, um, that also does capture and playback of, of Ultra HD. But in addition to that, we've just added more codec support. So it will now do ProRes LT, it will now do, now do ProRes um, Proxy, it will also do ProRes 422. In addition to that as well, we've also added a new SmartScope Duo. The SmartScope Duo 4K is basically a two-rack unit um, monitor where it's got two monitors, it's got two seven-inch screens, um, and their 4K video images can be displayed on there, or also 4K scopes. So whether or not you're using a parade, a histogram, um, a waveform monitor, or audio monitors, all of that can be displayed in, in Ultra HD. When we announced a 2.5K camera um, 18 months ago, um, one of the things that happened in that process was that we started to release the product slowly and then eventually there was a, an upturn in the amount we started to deliver. As it stands today, we've completely cleared the back order of the 2.5K camera. But then when we start to look at the pocket in the 4K, we're also going through a similar process at the moment. Um, we had some final calibration things we wanted to do. We wanted to make sure that we were absolutely happy with the camera. Um, we started shipping that in small quantities, and now what we're seeing certainly with the pocket is that those quantities are starting to increase quite considerably. Um, we anticipate that anybody who's got one of those cameras on back order, whilst we've actually got a large back order to fulfill, will be getting round to you very, very quickly. Um, in light of the 4K, um, we had a few things again with regards to calibration that have slowed us down. Um, what we didn't want to do was release a camera out to the market that we felt was not to the level and the expectancy of our customers. So what we've been doing is we've just been taking a few more weeks just to look at it, and hopefully in a matter of three or four weeks we should be able to have the first 4K cameras out in the market.